Hey guys, so for a while I've been thinking about what to do with this thing. The 77 Dodge Aspen wagon that I've had for years. It was the first car I had when I got my license. It was, <clears throat> well, my first V8 car. And through the years it has gone through a lot. Quite literally, a lot. blown up so many engines I can't even count them anymore but it's always gone back to at least blockwise a 318 Mopar now it has an 86 block and heads sorry 318 heads because I couldn't get a <clears throat> exhaust valve for a 360 in time so those 360 heads are inside they are ported well match ported to both the exhaust and the intake those are open chambers, so they're not as much compression as those are. Although these have smaller valves. What's been done in here is electric fans. Remove the fan from the water pump. And if you've seen the video Motor Trend made, or uh, David Freiberger and uh, Steve Dolchich on uh, Engine Masters, the fan that was on this would have stolen... 30 horsepower from the engine which well I don't want to lose 30 horsepower so electrics it's got a <clears throat> really tall air filter which is why I have a hole in the hood and a scoop on top of that it's got a 600 uh, Carter carburetor that is same as one of those 600 Thunder series Edelbrocks uh, on top of a Edelbrock performer 318 360 intake and I've never had that carb off so I don't know if that intake is well it, it is a dual plane when I think about it I can have a look at it it is a dual plane and just stock everything else basically the transmission isn't stock that is a prepped 904 uh, full manual valve body shift kit it shifts like a mother uh, the rear end is, well, an original one, not to the car, because the car was a uh, 225 slant 6 car back in the day. So it is a three po 323 rear end with a sure grip. The sure grip doesn't work anymore, because, well, we'll blame it on too much motor. Um, yeah, it actually goes pretty fast. It does... The national speed limit, <clears throat> which is 65 miles an hour, maybe 110k at least. It does that in first gear. It does uh, about 105 miles an hour. I would just have to look at this to get it. Yeah, and I have a cast. So when this cast comes off, work starts happening on this thing for real. It does 110, which is about yeah 70 miles an hour. And first, second goes to about 105. And then you love it in third and you bottom out the speedo before you run out of gear. Which is a suitably fast car. I mean, I'm in rural Norway. There's not a lot of fast cars going around here and I'm still a kid. I'm in my early 20s. And most of the cars that I have around me around my friends and all that are mostly well the fastest ones are turbo Volvos which are not fast now this thing actually did leave most of it behind whenever I <clears throat> put my foot in it now what I'm gonna do with this is to build a street race style car like uh, well if you've seen Street Outlaws and speaking of Street Outlaws uh, before making this video I reached out to Justin Shearer, Big Chief, and uh, Murder Nova from that show and asked them what I could do to make a suitably fast street race car. I'm not talking to their level, I'm talking maybe their level in the early 90s. Back when they were running small blocks that were just 
<clears throat> gassed up as far as it would go and then run a nitrous plate on it, pretty much. So that is pretty much what I'm going to do. I have an Edelbrock Performer cam in there. I'm going to yank that out, put a bigger one in. I just have to figure out how big of a cam I can run with the 360 valves. Because it is a stock bottom end. Which is the reason I blow these things up. Now, what's going to happen here when my cast comes off is a line lock, first of all. Put a line lock on. Oh, well, <clears throat> it's going to be that one. The rear one, because that is the front brakes. Line lock on that to let me do burnouts without killing my <clears throat> rear brakes. Not that I have a problem with that, just kind of like rear brakes. Then, with line lock in, I'm probably going to take it inside to see if I can stiffen the chassis a bit. Because I have put this thing on jack on the front end and it is pretty much ready to buckle. So I'm going to try to get, I don't know if you can see it on here, but I'm going to try to get a reinforcement from the firewall back here and a stupid cast in a way from back there to on the frame rail down there somewhere. Either that or build a tubular front end on this inside the sheet metal is already there because <laughs> if this is going to be a street car I kind of need to have plates on it. And to have plates in Norway, you need to go through that stupid EU regulation test that says that the car is legal, which is not going to be with the tube front end. Now, the scoop is not going to stay pink, and the hood's not going to stay blue either. I'll just paint this same color as the car. The car's flat black already, so that is really easy. And uh, when this thing gets inside, I'll probably start with what's under here. Yeah, that's ground. On both sides, the floor is pretty well jacked up. And <clears throat> also the frame rail on this side has some rust in it, which I'll need to take care of. And at that point, I'll probably have to do something about the exhaust, because that is straight up headers that ends, well, here. And it's really noisy in here. Now, headliner is already gone out of here. And I'm thinking much of the interior that's left is going to follow. At least all that red on the back there. I'm thinking maybe those door carts are going to go out and maybe some of the dash. I mean, I want to get this stripped down as far as I can. I want it to still be functional, but still a little weight as I can get in it. Now. Back seat might stay. Carpet. Well, it's pretty bad, but it, yeah, it might stay. And we're gonna have to see if we can get some more power out of that engine without really breaking that bank. So, there's gonna be a cam. I'm thinking maybe get a nitrous plate. and electric fuel pump. This effective mechanical one that's on the engine is not really a good one. So we're gonna get that, get that all done, get it on the car and first get it to the regulations back so I can actually get my license plates back. And this thing up and running and maybe 
maybe we'll get some uh, street race videos on here as well. Anyway, that is it for now. I'll be back later with updates on this Aspen street race build. The Escort kind of track they build. And the Granada back there that is going to be my, well, daily, pretty much. And actually that VW bug card also. I've been doing some work on that. And there is going to be a video on that dart because it is pretty much ready to get out of here. I just got to get my cast off. And the blazer over there by the house behind all those horses are, uh, well, it's going to get sold after a while. I just got to get the Granada fixed first. Anyway, that's it for now. See y'all later.